is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're out walking along the Jim Shug Trail out by Dryden Lake in upstate New York. This big white patch to my left. We're reflecting on some of the discussion questions we're using this month on the topic of beloved community. So the prompt today is this. It said, by Brian Stevenson, that beloved community requires us to get proximate to the marginalized. What are you learning about the right and the wrong way to do that? Getting proximate requires authenticity. Now the, I talked a little bit yesterday about the Peace Corps and the Peace Corps example of coming home. Well, there's another part of that that I think I've talked about with this church. Whew. I just passed wherever somebody had laid a trail here, so the snow got a lot deeper. In Peace Corps, we were also told using a little bit different language, that our job was to get proximate, to be in community with the folks in the villages that we were assigned to. And the point was that we should not, 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 think about our role in the village as any kind of helper. Peace Corps did not send us there with an agenda. They did not send us there with projects and metrics to check, check off. Although there were projects and metrics to check off, but that was not the point. The point and the goal was simply to live in the village. Peace Corps' first goal is that it is a cultural exchange program. And the way you do that is simply by being, by living in a location, by putting down roots, by getting to know what people love, what people are worried about. That's the goal. And to me, this advice about getting proximate is basically a variant on that. Where do we live? What are the relationships that we build where we live? And how do we do that intentionally? Not with an agenda, just with being humans together. Stacy and I in Lincoln, live in the South Bottoms, we live on the corner of 7th and Sumner. And it's an economically diverse part of Lincoln. And we moved there on purpose. We moved there to root ourselves, to be proximate in a community that was not uniform and similar to each other. And so part of what that looks like for us has been getting to know our neighbors, has been hosting summer barbecues around the neighborhood, getting involved in the neighborhood association. You know, for me, this is less about getting proximate to the marginalized, but I joined a Masonic Lodge in Lincoln about two years ago. And that is a way of getting proximate with folks who are not like me. Where our relationship is not defined by our differences, but by our desire to be in relationship with each other. And that's a very beautiful part of our life. 
community depends on relationship without agenda. It depends on a group of people coming together and saying, we have some shared interests. Mostly we just want to be together. Or maybe we're together simply because we all live on the same block. That's the building block of getting proximate that everything else in beloved community comes out of.